Hello. In this video, we will talk about such an effective volume analysis tool as volume fixing. Its idea is to identify levels or zones where volumes have been accumulated within a certain period. And so, in this video, we will figure out how the indicator is calculated and how to set it up. And in the end, we'll talk about how to use the indicator in trading. You can find time codes for the video in the description. Let's open the indicator settings. Set up studies volume fixing. We already have two limits configured. Using the example of the first limit, let's see how the indicator is calculated. This limit works on 30 minute intervals. In this case, the chart is divided into equal intervals of 30 minutes. For each of these intervals, the indicator recalculates the volume for each price level. And suppose 5,000 contracts that we've indicated in the settings, or more, were traded at one of the levels for a given period. In that case, this price will be highlighted in yellow. Moreover, it is the maximum price that is highlighted. The max volume only function is responsible for this. If we turn it off, we will see that other levels have shown up. We can plot a volume profile on the chart and check how many volumes were traded at a particular price level. And so, almost 7,000 contracts were traded at the upper price and 5,600 at the lower price. And only the maximum price is highlighted with the max value only function enabled. And similarly, the limit is calculated with an interval of one hour. For each hour, the indicator calculates the volume of each price. If 10,000 contracts or more were traded at one of the price levels, this price would be highlighted in red. So, how to customize the indicator? First, choose what to count. Volume, delta, or number of trades. Next, select the interval. Tick size determines how many price levels the volume is counted for. In other words, if we set the tick size to 2, the volume will be counted, summarizing over two price levels. Specify the volume. You can also customize limit working time and line type. At the bottom of the window, you can set up alerts. Next, let's talk about how to use the indicator in trading. As a disclaimer, we'd like to note that this indicator is not the only signal for making decisions on the market. It should be considered only as an addition to the main strategy. As a rule, we use several limits with different intervals. For example, let's add a limit with 10 minutes intervals and a 3000 contracts volume filter. Select the white color and click new. Let's remove everything unnecessary from the chart. And so, by the example of yesterday's and today's sessions, let's consider how to use the indicator in trading. We're going to show you three ways how you can use volume fixing. The first one is identifying the most important level at market close. As a rule, the largest volumes are at the market close. And with the help of volume fixing, we can understand which of the prices is more important. At the session's close, we see that one of the key prices is 4145.5, 4145.5. And also, we can point out the price of 4143.5. And already at the Asian session, we can see how this price is working out. The market confirmed that this price is the key price at the moment. Then we move to the opening of the main session. We see that the price breaks through the level and begins to consolidate under this level. But at the same time, the price is inside the zone that we have highlighted. An important point, most often, the volumes will appear in the middle of the channels. This is quite obvious, as the maximum volumes are always located approximately in the center of the channel. We should look for only those situations where the volume appears near our levels or at the extremums and make a decision there. What is the logic of decision making in such a situation? We see that the price is falling, and there's a volume at this level, which the market does not pay attention to. And then, the volume appears under the level we have marked since yesterday, and the price consolidates under this volume. 
Thus, we get an additional signal, strengthening the already strong level. We can put a small stop loss above the volume. After the consolidation, the price made a nice move down. And so this was the first way of using volume fixing, identifying key levels at market close. The second way is using it as confirmation of an already existing level. In this case, volume fixing shows which of the levels is the key level at the moment. For example, as in our case, the market showed which of the levels is more important. And the third way to use volume fixing is trading with the trend from the volume fixing levels. As a rule, the indicator also works well as mirror levels in trend trading. For example, there is volume at some price, and if the price retests this level, we can consider trend following trades from this level. In other words, we can either use volume fixing on the range market by waiting for volume near our level, or we can also use it in a trending market as mirror levels. For example, volume appeared during the price fall, and then the price started to consolidate under this level. Then a false breakout followed, and the price returned under the volume level and began to consolidate under the yellow volume. In this case, we have a zone formed by two volume levels. This is an even stronger signal for short trades. For example, on a tick chart, we could look for an entry point for a more accurate entry into position. And we were able to take 3 to 4 points here. And then there was another retest of this level, after which the price dropped again. Next, we see volume in the center of the local range. Then, after the retest, the price rebounds from this level and goes up for a retest of another volume level. Using this example, you can understand how volumes work, the price goes from volume to volume. The price is falling even lower. The gray level is the level from the 1 hour time frame. We can see that the buyer tried to hold the price but, in the end, couldn't do it. Again try to hold another deep, after which the price returned to retest the previous volume. And this is what we have been talking about, the opportunity of trend trading from mirror levels. Here we have the volume, the level confirmed by the volume, and we could wait for the entry point on the tick chart. Next, the price continued to fall. There was nothing here. Price is breaking the level from the higher time frame. And notice how much volume shows up here. Price is consolidating under the volume and the level. There are false breakouts, yet we realize that, most likely, a big player keeps the price below the level. As a result, we could take 2 to 3 points. Then, a breakout in the opposite direction follows. Volume appears. We also take into account the volume zone earlier. After a small rise, the price retests this zone, consolidates for a few minutes, gives a great entry point, and gains by 10 points. Thus, we can add this indicator to our main strategy and strengthen it. Let's take a look at what happened in today's session. Today also, the price was falling at the opening of the market. Someone tried to buy local deep. But the price continued to fall. Again an attempt to hold the price, a small correction. Then the market reversed. And notice that most of the volumes are located near the price of 4135, 4135. Here we can highlight a zone where large capital was working, where large volumes were concentrated. After the breakdown, the price returned to the retest and went up. Then, the price returned to the retest again and gave a trading opportunity. Next, we see a consolidation in the local channel and the following move up. And again, what we talked about, the third way to use volume fixing is to trade with the trend. Price does a retest and gives an opportunity for a trade. And notice how good the entry point for short was from the 4154 level. This is the level from the higher time frame, a 5 minute chart. Here you see the chart. This is the level from the last session, which also worked well in the European session. Price is retesting the level. Volume is here, and the price is holding under the level. Small stop loss above the level and good potential. 
And in conclusion, let's once again list three ways of using volume fixing. Identification of a key level at market close. Confirmation of the level from which we are waiting for a trade. And the third way, using volume fixing as mirror levels in trend following strategy. The indicator can be used both in range trading and trend trading. If you have any questions, please contact our technical support by the contacts in the description. Thank you for your attention and have a good day.